In the previous video, we discussed about the enzymes involved in the process of DNA replication. If you want to watch that video first, you can click the link above from the i button or you can find it in the description. Now in this video, we will be discussing about DNA replication in prokaryotes where we will be explaining its initiation in detail. We know DNA replication proceeds in three steps. That's initiation, elongation and termination. But here in this video, we will be discussing the initiation part in detail. So let's get started. The prokaryotic DNA replication begins at a specific site on DNA molecule, what we call as ORIC site. ORIC site is the origin of replication in prokaryotes. First of all, let's see what this ORIC site is. In this diagram, we can see the stretch of DNA having three red bands denoting a particular sequence. So these red bands are not anything different structures on DNA. These are the specific sequences of bases called the 13 mer. There are three 13 mer sequences on RIC site. 13 mer is like we say hexamer, tetramer. In the same way, 13 mer is the sequence of 13 base pairs as guanine, adenine, thymine, cytosine, thymine, aninucleotide base, then three times thymine, then adenine, and then again three times thymine, and it is complementary bases. So all the three regions denoted in the red color are having that 13 mer sequences. On the right, we have four green bands, which denotes a particular nucleotide sequence called the 9 mer. There are four 9 mer sequences at RIC site, which have a particular nucleotide sequence of 9 base pairs. All four 9 mer sites will have this sequence. Thymine, guanine, thymine, guanine, adenine, adenine, thymine, adenine, adenine, and its complementary bases. Also, we denote these 9 mer sequences as R boxes, R1, R5, R2 and R4 boxes. In between R1 and R5 box, it has got IHF protein binding site. And also there is a FIS protein binding site between R2 and R4. When IHF protein binds to IHF site, it enhances the DNA replication initiation, while as FIS protein negatively regulates the replication. But when both IHF and FIS protein together binds to the sites, they together enhances their replication. Moreover, the three 13 mer sequences are collectively termed as DUE, which is the DNA unwinding region, while as 9 mer region is collectively termed as DAR, that is DNA A assembly region. So unwinding occurs here at DUE region of 13 mers, while as stress, torsion, and negative supercoiling occurs at DAR site. This is the RIC site in E. coli where from the initiation of DNA replication starts. And also remember these R boxes R1, R2 and R4 are the DNA A binding protein binding sites. Although R5 and other sites also bind to DNA A proteins, but these three boxes have high affinity for binding. And also you can see the diagram of DNA in its spiral form. And also it shows the 13 mer sequences in red color and 9 mer sequences in green color. Now we have a DNA A protein as shown in the figure. This protein has either ADP or ATP bound. It gets attached to the 9 mer sequences called the R boxes. So with the attachment of DNA A proteins to the DAR region, the DNA coils around this protein. It includes the topological stress, which ultimately causes the denaturation of ATP region at 13 mer sites to the left. The energy is supplied by the ATP molecules of DNA A protein. Then the second step is the binding of SSB proteins to the DNA strands. SSB proteins either bind prior to the helicase binding or after the helicase binding. This concludes the unwinding part, where we get the DNA in this form shown in the diagram. Now we have a hydrogen bonds between the bases of DNA strands. In order to separate the DNA strands completely and give room to the DNA polymerase enzymes for replication process, the hydrogen bonds need to be broken first. And for this prokaryotes have DNA B protein, which is a helicase enzyme. It is in a complex form with DNA C protein, which is a helicase loader. Its work is to load DNA B helicase to the DUE site and itself gets detached in the process of helicase loading. The DNA helicase moves through and breaks the hydrogen bonds between bases. And we get the completely separated strands in the form of replication bubble, as shown in the diagram. Then finally to the replication bubble, DNA G protein, that is the primase protein, binds to the respective strands and lays down the primer in the form of small RNA stretches. And finally, 
we see the prokaryotes have DNA polymerase 3 as the main replication enzyme, which has a complex structure as shown in the figure. It has got two different beta clamps for leading and lagging strands. The gamma complex of polymerase 3 acts as a clamp loader. The clamp loader loads the beta clamp of the polymerase to the strands. For convenience and for easy understanding, we will show the DNA polymerase in this form shown in the figure. To initiate the replication process, the DNA polymerase is loaded with the help of loader to the DNA strands at primer site, from which the DNA replication will start. So this concludes the initiation process in prokaryotes. After that, it will have an elongation and termination process, which will be discussed in the next video. I hope you like the video. If you like it, give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to this channel. Thanks.